Here we are in Kikik Tavjoak. We are on the east coast of Baffin Island, on another small, small island. And uh, we are in Baffin Bay, which is located, it's, a, it's a, a polar sea which is located between Greenland and Canada. So we have a group of uh, 19 students coming from 12 universities and seven different countries, together with a group of 22 mentors. The purpose of the summer school is really to sensitize them to the importance of light and how we use it to study the Arctic. Well, light drives everything in the Arctic. It drives uh, all the productivity in the ocean and all the organism that depends on it and finally the humans that depend on these organisms. So it's really the source of energy to the whole planet, but in particular in the Arctic, the whole uh, food system depends strongly on light. It was really essential for us to develop a good relationship with the community simply because we come in their home, in fact. We have to maintain good relationships, uh, good uh, friendship. And the other thing is that we, we try to involve as much as possible people from the community in our activities. We hope we can train people here so that they develop the skills that allow them also to, uh, to initiate such scientific activities and uh, do them in collaboration with us. Something special about the Arctic and light is that the Arctic Ocean is covered by an ice pack which um, constrains very significantly the amount of light that can penetrate in the ocean. As you know, the, uh, the uh, ice pack in the Arctic is decreasing in size during summer and also the, the, the breakup takes place earlier and the freeze-up takes place later during the season so, so that now we have a longer season with no sea ice and a lot of light in the ocean. And we want to figure out what the impact of this major change in the light will be on any mar marine ecosystems in Arctic. So that's one aspect why, why light is important in Arctic. The second uh, reason having interest for light in Arctic is the, the use of sensors. Optics provides many different approaches and techniques uh, to, to measure all kinds of things in the environment. I mean, I think the, the most important or unique thing about this class is that the students are able to learn about an environment while being there. There's nothing um, better than learning by doing, and that's really the unique aspect of this uh, course. So we had a group of 19 students that we broke down into subgroups of uh, three to four students, and in each of these subgroups we have physicists and biological oceanographers and we expect that they will exchange expertise, that they will learn from each other and hopefully uh, that they will develop some, some taste also for other disciplines than their own. Today was an interesting day. <laughs> I was supposed to, I was working on sea ice optics but uh, as it turns out there's no ice here so we ended up going on a barge this afternoon and deploying a, a glider. So a glider is this autonomous platform that you deploy in the water and on its own it will sort of scan the ocean and take measurements of chlorophylla, nutrients or, and also light and this actually helps you get a, an overview of what the, these conditions are in this marine ecosystem without actually being there to do the measurements. Today I've been out uh, on a float of ice, walking around on it and looking at how the light propagates through the, through the ice um, and how it's reflected back. So we use a lot of different uh, instruments that uh, measures different wavelengths of light and how the, the composition of these wavelengths or energies of light changes as it transmits through the ice. So we are looking at the species in the water column and identify them with a, a program that were made by one of the mentors here. Every day it's a new day, like you can, one day it's working, the other one it's not working, and, but it's life on the field, you can control everything like in laboratories. My project really involves uh, the combination between the, the physics of the under ice environment and the biology as well, so, so the, the main, the main uh, output of this experience has been like how to perfectly link them together and speaking with all the people, experts, ex with experts in both fields has given me this opportunity. And here I've really seen the role of technology in science and gotten to see some cutting edge technology and that's been a very unique experience. Doing science in the field is something. Doing the science on board uh, an icebreaker in ice 
and doing those all those experiences while going through the life that you have to be on board and sharing the space on board and living through and just seeing that it's not quite like it would be in a laboratory. It's a huge operation with lots of people working on it. It's just really fun how both of these groups sort of mix together so organically. There's no, it's, it's like, it's like a huge family on the ship. It's really, really fun to hang out with everybody and I'm having a good time. I would like them to remember that we are merely visitors here and to be humbled and inspired by the breathtaking landscapes and seascapes that surround us here and to allow that inspiration to fuel them, to fuel them into their future research of this very fragile ecosystem, but also to fuel them into building strong but respectful bridges with members of local communities that live here year long. I have learned about a lot of things I didn't know were going on at all. Um, and so just the creativity people are using, some of the big advances that have been made. Um, I think I will yeah, retain a sense of optimism about where science is going, Arctic science. These will be their collaborators and friends for the rest of their life. But more than that, they'll also appreciate how complex and how interesting the Arctic is and, and how critical it is that we understand processes that we still very poorly understand. I think what I would retain the most about this experience is the interactions with other scientists who are as passionate or even more passionate about uh, their own topics, about the things they study, um, the places they've been, and uh, it feels like I'm really building a connection with a community of scientists that uh, I want to continue to work with in the future. Most of all, the teamwork, that these things require a lot of organization, a lot of works, uh, it's, it's, it's a continuous learning experience and, uh, and yeah, basically that, that, you know, there's still a lot of things to do and, uh, you know, it, it fills you with inspiration. It is my first experience on an icebreaker. This is very cool. Uh, when we're going to sleep, the, the rocking of the ship is very exciting, very dynamic. And um, yeah, watching how the ship breaks the ice has been really amazing. I just feel so lucky to be part of this amazing experience. Uh, even I came here as a mentor, but I'm learning so much. So I'm a student too in this expedition. 